I'm thinking of all of you today across Texas. I know the rise in case numbers is causing fear and apprehension. People are frightened, and they're especially worried about their parents, their grandparents, their loved ones who are most at risk. This virus is tough, but Texas is tougher. Interesting right there, former VP Joe Biden out with his first TV ad in Texas today. A possible sign his campaign sees an opening in the reliably red state. Back with us for round two, John Heilman and Michael Steele. So, Michael, if I poured you, let's say, not one but two of your preferred cocktails and uh, noting your Republican Party status, asked you to really loosen up and be honest in your dreams is Texas really on the board for the Democrats? Is that on the whiteboard of possibles in somebody's campaign headquarters? It has been a growing opportunity for the Democrats going back 20 years. Uh, when I was state chairman of Maryland um, in 2000 and working with uh, state parties around the country at that time, I remember being in, uh, in Dallas and Houston and, and just observing what then were early signs of the Democrats beginning to lay seeds for a play in Texas. It is now uh, fermented, grown, whatever you want to call it, but it is, it is, it is realizable. Now, whether it happens in 2020, uh, uh, I think remains to be seen. But the fact that Biden is now beginning to make an inroad there uh, to establish some markers is significant. Um, when you look at the voting trends in Texas, you look at the demographic tre uh, tr uh, trends in Texas, and you look at the fact that Texans, uh, Republican, Democrat, independent alike, are getting used to voting for Democrats statewide and in local elections, the opportunity is there. I'm on the record as saying by 2024, Texas will be like Virginia. It will be a battleground state between the two parties, and the Republicans will be at a significant disadvantage if they don't figure out how to turn that horse around. Right now, that horse is moving away from them, uh, and Biden sees that, and his campaign is making, I think, a smart strategic move. Whether or not to win, that remains to be seen, but to make the Republicans play in Texas? <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.